Almost every mobile application has some form of tab bar interface. In this video, we're going to create one of those with Ionic. Ionic has a built-in Ion Tabs directive that we can use in order to build this directive. Create the Ion Tabs directive and now we can start filling it with tabs. The directive to create a tab is just the Ion Tab directive. This takes a title and that's, this specifies what the title of our tab will be. I'm just going to call this one Home and in here I'm going to create our content and some text. When we save this, we now have a tab and it pops up with the text of home tab, as we can see. Let's add a second tab real quick, because a, an app with a single tab is pretty boring. And I'm just going to call this one about. And I'm going to create some content equally interesting. And we can now swap between our tabs and see that things happen. Now. We may want to change the color scheme of this tab, and Ionic ships with several colors that are uh, detailed in the documentation, and I'll post those in the notes. But if we would just want to update that, we can set a class on the Ion tabs. Now, in the documentation, the classes are specified as being prefixed with nothing. So it's just the color. So if we want the blue color, we use positive. However, in the case of tabs, we want those to be able to be sub-customizable. So you have to preface that with the tabs prefix to the directive. When we say we notice we change this to the nice blue color we have. So let's real quickly add a header bar. A header bar can just be added with the ion header bar directive. And from within here, we can set what we want that to actually be. So I'm going to set the, the class to title for our H1 and have our title. Now, this is pretty interesting, and let's just set a color on it once again so that our color matches. But what if we want a different title for each section of the application? Well, you can either use navigation bars for that, and that is detailed in a more thorough formula and video series on navigation, or we can create our header bar inside of each particular tab. So I'm going to do that for the purposes of this video and change these to home and about, save, and we now see that we have a header bar that changes with our tab. If you want to learn more about the Ion Tabs directive and everything it can do, check out the documentation I've linked at the bottom of the video. Thanks for watching.